Good afternoon. My name is Tim McCluskey, and I'm uh, the vice president of the town council of Centerville. We're here at Millstream Park, and today we're, we're building a stormwater education station and rain garden. We're joined here today by Troop 464, Boy Scout Troop 464, and some volunteers from the Centerville Middle School. And as you can see behind me, we're putting together a stormwater education station, which is actually a faux house. It's approximately six foot by six foot, and it's got very good examples of good stormwater management techniques. It includes a small green roof, a rain garden with native plants, rain barrels directed to the rain garden, permeable pavers, and educational signage. The signage is important because it actually tells residents what they can do to help prevent stormwater uh, pollution and clean up the local waterways. Now next to the stormwater education station, which is about 300 square feet, is a rain garden with native plants that's planted by the Centerville Middle School. The rain garden was created by environmental concern. This project is going to help continue with ongoing efforts to reduce stormwater runoff uh, and meet the goals of the Corsica River Watershed Restoration Action Study. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the partnerships and some of the volunteers who have given their time and materials today as well. I wanted to, to thank Calgrade the Third from Calgrade Developers who provided a lot of the hands-on construction of the faux house. Richard Hammond Builders, he, he and his carpenters assisted with construction. Environmental Concern, as I said before, uh, is, is helping to build out the rain garden. They also provided the permeable pavers and the educators. Green Grid donated the green roof modules, and the Corsica River Conservancy provided a soil sample and publicity. Again, the Centerville Middle School students, the volunteers to assist with the rain garden planting, and the Boy Scout troop from Roosburg, they volunteered to assist with rain barrel install. Of course, you have to include Red Zone Pizzeria, who's going to provide pizza for the volunteers. Price and Gannon Hardware, our local hardware store, donated materials. Uh, Rough Roofers also donated materials. John Stivers, he donated materials. And Shore Lumber provided discounted materials as well. Following construction, we will have a dedication as well. And then this station can be used as a, as a place for field trips by local schools to educate about stormwater management techniques and what we can do to help keep the bay clean and help do our part to keep this river, this watershed a wonderful place to live, work, and play. Thank you.